Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name is Ilza Willifir, Mrs. Willifir, and I'm going to do the revision of the general ledger. That is the posting of the CRJ and the CPJ with you for revision. The first thing is we must look at a few things that you must remember about the general ledger. Number one, the general ledger has two sections, namely the balance sheet account section, that is your assets, your owner's equity and your liabilities, and your nominal account section, that is your income and your expenses. The general ledger also has two sides, the debit side and the credit side. So if you look at um, the general ledger, if you look at the top, there you will have the balance sheet account section that starts with your owner's equity, that is capital and drawings, then your fixed assets, land and buildings, vehicles and equipment, your current assets, that is bank, cash flow and petty cash, and then your liabilities that can be creditors and loans. You must also remember that your general ledger has two sides and that your two sides, as we said, is the same. You will have a debit side. You will have a debit side and you will have a credit side and your debit side and your credit side looks exactly the same. You will have your year and your month, your day, your details, your folio and your amount. And you must always remember that the debit must always be equal to the credit side. Also, other things that you must remember, if we post assets to the general ledger, assets always increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. Your owner's equity always decrease on the credit side and um, um, increase on the uh, credit side and decrease on the debit side. The same with your liabilities, decrease on the credit side and increase um, increase on the credit side and decrease on the debit side. Now, if we look at the CRJ, you will remember that in the CRJ you have receipts. So bank, that is an asset that increase, will be debited and all your other accounts will be credited. Let's look at an example, posting of the CRJ. If we look in the bank, uh, in the CRJ, you will see that the most important column that you always will have is bank. Why is that so important? Because bank equals all your other accounts or your other columns that you have, the current income and the sundry accounts. If you take that 28,700 and you add the 62,300, you will get the 91,000 again. What did we say? We said that bank is an asset if you receive money. It's an asset that increases. That's why it is debited and all the other accounts that is either income or owner's equity is credited. Other important information in your CRJ will be your day, especially if you post your sundry accounts, as well as your folio number. That is the CRJ1 in this case. So we said bank is going to be debited and the rest is going to be credited. So let's look at the answer. In the bank, we have 2023, March the 31st, total receipts, CRJ, because that is your folio, and bank has been credited. Now, if you look at the, uh, a bank has been debited. Now, if you look on the credit side, you will see that the first column that you have there is current income, 2023, March the 31st. Why is it the 31st? Because it was a column. Why is it bank here? Because bank is the, is the account that is going to be debited. CRJ, 28,700. The sundry accounts also look the same, except that you have to look at the date on which the transaction conspired because it's transactions that not ha does not happen that often. So you will here have 2023, March the 1st, bank, CRJ, 60,000 rand. The second one was 2023, March the 17th, bank, CRJ, 22,000. And then the interest on current account, March 2023, the 31st, bank, CRJ, 300. If we take the 60,000 and the 28,700 and the 2,000 and the 300 again, you will get the 91,000 rand. And that means that you completed your double entry method that says for every debit, there should be a credit. So if we look at the summary of the general ledger, remember that there are two sections, the balance sheet account section and the nominal account section. The general ledger also have two sides, a debit side and a credit side. 
The debit side must equal the credit side. That means that you have a double entry method is completed. In the CRJ, your bank is your most important column. So bank is debited because it's an asset that increases and the rest of the account is all credited because it's either incomes or it's owner's equity that increases. If we look at the CPJ, what is important here? Again, bank is my most important column. Why is bank the most important column? Because bank equals the total of all the other columns added together. So if I say 18,000 plus 35,000 plus 607,500, we will get the 66,500 again. But now we had payments. So our bank column can't increase, our bank column would decrease. And bank is an asset. So if bank is an asset that decreases, it will credit and the rest of the accounts will done, then will be debited. What is also important, your dates. Why is your dates important? Especially for your sundry accounts, because it's transactions that not conspire so many times. So let's look at the answer. And then the other thing, before I look at the answer, what is important, the CPJ1, that is your folio number. So let's look at the answer now. Bank has been credited. 2023, June, the 31st total payments. You can also write their sundry accounts. CPJ 660,500. Bank has been credited and all the other accounts has been debited. Let's look, for instance, at the first one that was drawings. 2023, June the 17th, bank, CPJ, and it was 2,000 Rand. And look here, because it was a sundry account, it was on the 17th. Land and buildings look the same, but is that date was the second. Vehicles look the same, but that date was the 22nd. So stationary and wages is on the 31st because it was a column and consumable stores and bank charges again have their individual dates. So let's see what is important to remember here. A summary again. Remember that we have a balance sheet account section and a nominal account section. Two sides, debit side and a credit side. In the CPJ, your most important column is bank. Bank is an asset that decreases. That's why it is credited. And all the other columns is debited because it is either, you either um, owner's equity, assets that you bought, or it is expense that decreases your owner's equity. The last thing that we must look at when we look at um, general ledger is how to balance a bank account. When you have information on your debit and your credit side, and you would have seen that in your bank account, then it's uh, important for you to calculate a balance. So if we look at the bank account here, on the 23rd, 2023 March the 3rd, we had our total receipts, that was 280,000 Rand. Then your total payments were, were 142,598. So now you have information on the debit side and on the credit side. Now it's important for you to be able to calculate the balance. So what is the first step? What side has the biggest amount? So if you look on this, in this bank account, you will see that the 280,000 was the biggest amount. Then you write it here in the two double lines, the 280,000 Rand. Right, then what do you do? Now you have to calculate the balance. So you take the biggest side, that was the 280,000, and you subtract the total payments from it, and it will give you 137,411. That is your new balance. Now you write it in your balance. See, the folio now is carried down, and it gives you 137,411. So if you add the total payments and the balance again, Will give you a 280. So now you have 280,000 on the debit side and you have 280,000 on the credit side. Why is it important to calculate the balance? Because your bank account only has that amount in the bank account now at the beginning of the month. So now you finish your bank account if you complete it and you carry that 137,411 down and you write brought down because on the 1st of April, you only have 137,411 Rand left. It's the same thing that when your mom gives you some 
pocket money, you have 10 rand, you spent 8 rand, so for the next month you have 2 rand that you can add to your 10 rand of pocket money. So now you wait again for the total receipts and the total payments for March. So please remember or remind your teacher that you complete the attendance register. Here is the link to the quiz as well as the QR code. And good luck for the exams. If you go through these videos again before the exams for EMS, Paper 1 and Paper 2, it will help you to be able to complete um, this exam. Good luck and I hope you all do well. Goodbye.